Ortho Agility A3 Ankle CPM offers three directions of motion, plantar flexion and dorsiflexion, and inversion and eversion, or a combination of both. The A3 can be adjusted for a bed or an in-chair use, making it ideal for home or hospital settings. Each Ortho Agility Ankle CPM comes with a CPM unit, programmable motion controller, patient-controlled on-off button, power supply, soft goods kit with an option of two sizes of orthopedic shoes, and directions for use. Begin setup by plugging the programmable motion controller into a grounded wall receptacle. Next, attach a new patient kit. Slide the lower leg soft goods onto the leg shield and the hand soft goods over the patient on-off button. Then, attach the orthopedic shoe by engaging the rear shoe posts into the rear slots and the front shoe posts into the front slots. Now we're ready to fit the unit to the patient. For plantar dorsiflexion, press and hold the actuator button while rotating the actuator to the top of the actuator ring. The two halves of the blue indicator dot should meet. Next, loosen the foot plate locking knob and swivel the foot plate until the shoe is again in an upright position. Before placing the patient in the unit, run the actuator by the forward reverse buttons until it reaches zero degrees on the goniometer. Now place the patient's foot in the shoe and tighten the straps. We are now ready to program the range of motion with a programmable motion controller. First, turn the patient on-off button off and the controller on. Note the power indicator light is on, but the run light is out. The flashing blue limit light indicates the controller is ready to receive programming. With the forward button, run the actuator to the first range of motion. Then, press the Limit 1 button twice. The blue light will turn solid. Then, with the Reverse button, run the actuator to the next range of motion limit. Then, press the Limit 2 button twice. The blue indicator turns solid. Fasten the soft goods strap around the patient's leg. To begin treatment, run the unit by pressing the Patient On-Off button. To set up programming for inversion eversion, press and hold the actuator button while rotating the actuator to the bottom of the actuator ring. The two halves of the blue dot should meet underneath the foot plate. Next, loosen the foot plate locking button and swivel the foot plate until the shoe is upright again. Follow the previous procedure for setting range of motion limits and begin treatment by pressing the patient on off button. For combined plantar dorsiflexion and inversion eversion, position the actuator and foot plate at various positions to achieve the desired combination. Set range of motion limit as previously described and begin treatment. Please refer to the Directions for Use Manual for complete operating instructions and device specifications or call your local OrthoAgility representative with any questions.